Chopper crew and the team members, eight men in all, were reported as MIA. They were presumed dead until we saw this. Was there a survivor? We don't know. Mathis, I want you to take your team, recover the bodies, and ascertain the status of the eighth man. One word of caution. The locals claim that for the past 18 months, no one who's gone into that jungle has ever come back out again. already if they wanted to. Captain James Ellison, 4DA-731. You my relief? Your relief? These men and I have held the Chopak Pass for 18 months. And quite frankly, Captain, I'm kind of tired. Six months, six targets, eight dead, 21 injured. Any suspects, Captain? We can't be certain that we're only dealing with one suspect. None of this has been released to the media. Why are all these letters addressed to uh, James Ellison? He's our lead investigator on the case. The bomber seems to get some sort of perverse kick out of taunting him. Now I know about your time spent in Peru, and it has got to be connected with what's happening to you now. In all tribal cultures, every village had what Burton named the Sentinel. Now, this was someone who patrolled the borders. A sentinel is chosen because of a genetic advantage, a sensory awareness that can be developed beyond normal humans. And now, these senses are honed by solitary time spent in the wild. And you're requesting full access credentials to observe Detective Ellison on the job? Well, yeah, he is the best on the force, isn't he? Could you excuse us for a moment? I'd like to talk to Detective Ellison alone. Yeah. Jim, when you first told me about this guy, I was expecting an academic. Not some neo-hippie flower child with time on his hands now that the dead have broken up. Try to concentrate. You gotta learn how to turn things on and off. Got an address. So what am I supposed to do here? Well, give me a warrant. What else? <laughs> on what evidence? Because a detective smelled something on a piece of yarn he pulled out of a bird's nest? You know what, Jim? I think you should take some time off. You were awesome today. I've never seen anything like it. You were hearing things I couldn't hear, smelling things I couldn't smell. I'm in level with you, are you? Over the past couple of weeks, I've had these sensory things going on. Things I couldn't control. It turns out I've got what can only be described as uh, hyperactive senses. Too much information right now, right? I can imagine. What are you doing? Documenting. Ah, 